top 10 anime manga moments of the year. I try to make this like a like an all-encompassing. I try to cover all my bases. I think I got a a little bit of everything from each, you know, major fandom out there, but you know, we'll see. What was your favorite moment of the year? Let me know in the comments. But until then, number 10 Oshinoko breaking the internet. I mean, I've only seen like the first two episodes of this. I actually got to go back and uh, catch up because season two is about to drop pretty soon. But yeah, yeah, it's because it's been so quiet for Oshinoko in the last half of the year. I kind of almost forgot about this, which is why it's at number 10. But honestly, bro, like this was everywhere. And even before the anime, like last year, everybody was ripping and raving about the uh, the Oshinoko manga. Once the anime dropped, oh, nah, yo, that animation go crazy. Like, yo, just, yo, yo, yo. Nah, I gotta go back and finish this. One of the best new anime of the year, that's for sure. At number nine, moving along swimmingly, we got the GOAT, the GOAT Toji. Toji Fushigoro, man. Alpha male Toji, yo. Easily one of the best characters in JJK. And if you look at the list of JJK characters, that is saying a lot, actually. And, and there was a lot of things I could have picked out of that season two. The Shibuya arc has just been going crazy for like the past three months. JJK has been on fire this year. But if there's one thing, one person in particular, that I think really stole the show, it has to be Toji, man. It, it, people was warning me you know and the, the people they tried to tell us jjk manga fans they tried to warn us about the shibuya arc they told us yo like it's it's some gas coming i wasn't expecting it to be this gas though like damn yo his fight with gojo is still one of the most like shocking moments of the year literally able to keep up with the best the most powerful sorcerer fighter period in the entire series just with a little bit of prep time and a little bit of creatine him popping back up later in the season and basically pulling a madara from naruto and saying you know you brought me back to life that's cool but fuck all that i play by my own rules it was a lot of people i could have like chosen to put in this spot like i sukuna went crazy gojo of course is gojo ghetto was a really big like i really enjoyed ghetto's whole character arc yuji of course is best boy but nah yo told you the goat the only negative thing about Toji is that I feel like we we should have got more of them, right? But at the same time, I also think that it, less is more, right? I don't know. And now at number eight, we got Black Air Force Energy, the Sword of the Wizard King. Yo, this movie, bro, this has been a bit of a down year for Black Clover because, you know, there's been breaks. It's been taken out of Shonen Jump, the main magazine. The anime has been on hiatus for like at least about two years at this point. But this movie, bro, people hate on Black Clover because it's it's like it does wear its influences on its sleeve, Naruto specifically. But this movie, man, all the casuals just kind of adopted My Hero instead or Demon Slayer. But this movie, man, straight hands from beginning to end. There's a little section in there where everybody comes together and like, you know, cr creates this plan. But it's, other than that, it's just hands, yo. Like the fights in this movie are incredible. The final fight specifically between Asta and King Conrad, it's like Dragon Ball Super Broly levels of roller coaster man it, it literally does not give you a chance to breathe there's a lot of awesome moments with austin you know and their you know their their bromance and whatnot even at the beginning we get to see julius the most recent wizard king doing some really cool stuff bro i've seen this movie like five times it's still his bro like yo mario leona the queen her fight with another former wizard king was just again bro just like pure savagery bro first time watching this bro when i was done i felt like i needed a cigarette piss some more respect on black clover after this movie yo and at number seven we're taking it to bleach now it's the zero squad versus the quincy's i feel like this is exactly what everybody was kind of hoping for with this new thousand year blood war anime like okay the second core of this arc hasn't been the greatest you know what i'm saying it, a lot of the fights felt rushed i'm i'm really not feeling the red sky i don't know if it's just me i like the the way that it's colored in the manga where it's just like pure white i've always kind of dig that but everything that they did involving the zero squad is just like mm. like showing why they're the zero squad and they're supposed to be better than every other division in the gote 13. in the manga they were you know introduced as these crazy like 
you know really important really powerful characters but like it didn't really do anything and they all got like off screen but in this version in the anime like yo finally finally some respect on their name yo when we get to find out how their bankai works because their bankai is so powerful they kind of like can't use it you know what i'm saying individually they have to like devote their power all to one person yo senjumaru mommy senjumaru's bankai is insane don't even you dare try to get me to pronounce this shit. we got to see uryu tease his antithesis abilities which that was just kind of brought out of nowhere in the manga as well so it's nice to see this little bit of foreshadowing here ichibe versus yuhaba bro ichibe is just him yo reading the manga it was it was like so obvious that these guys were just here to you know pit over the new big bad villain it's the way that shonen works like again we all know they're gonna lose this entire confrontation in rayo city was like what two three episodes not only did it help rectify what was insanely rushed in the manga but it also did help to course correct the anime version of this as well like again these last three episodes bro these last three four episodes are easily by far the best material in this entire core and at number six we got blue lock breaking records everywhere you know I just got into Blue Lock this year because of the anime, right? And I actually just watched it recently too. It was like September, I tuned into Blue Lock and it was awesome. I'm not much of a sports manga guy, but saying that, and, and I think other people have said this as well. I feel like I heard this before. Blue Lock is the sort of sports series for people that aren't into sports series or, or really like sports in general. I know a lot of people that actually play and are fans of football actually like hate this series because like it's not real soccer, it's not real like, like they're breaking rules all over the place type sh but nah this is awesome like just the premise alone of blue lock is like yeah i can i can see why it's ranked the number one manga of the year like if we're talking statistically if we're talking fiscally blue lock is probably the most successful manga of the year and that's saying a lot because you know one piece and then this year has also been really great for jjk especially for the type of year that jujutsu kaisen has had for blue lock to still be reigning number one champion of manga of the year honestly that says a lot hey that blue lock soundtrack yo that yeah yo it go crazy all right number five now i feel like this is a bit of a controversial one we got the ending to attack on titan finally the final season the final chapters of attack on titan part b season 2 version 2.0 episode 4 i've been ducking attack on titan spoilers for years i won't get into it in case anybody hasn't seen it yet i mean well light spoilers because i might be showing some footage but i mean yeah like i, I don't get the hate bro i don't get the hate i think this is like how how else did you expect the series to end mikasa finally got some closure sort of armin armin got his main character moment levi spun the block physique one last time just to you know what i'm saying really settle that score justice for Irvin. like yeah bro i don't like it was fire it was fire the animation was even crazy like the cgi wasn't even that bad comparably to you know how it was when they first went over the map up everything about this finale i feel like was a home run i like ever since aaron went on his like incel school shooter character arc i felt like attack on titan was back like where it was supposed to be once they left the walls once they left the island i felt like the series kind of lost its way you know you got all these new titans popping up that look more like sci-fi alien warriors as opposed to you know kaiju monsters but more than anything though i think this is just like this truly is the end of an era yo. a lot of anime nowadays especially like psychological thriller you know horror based shows they take a lot from attack on titan right attack on titan bleach and naruto like they all three of them have a lot of kids out here right now and you know seeing one of the papas go another one and with me just talking about blue lock and now attack on titan like yo Shout out to Weekly Shonen Magazine, bro. Like, obviously, Shonen Jump got all the the the, the crazy, the real classics. But, like, yo, Kodansha, Kodansha be slapping, yo. Rest in peace to Attack on Titan, man. The end of an era. Now, at number four, we got DBZ Tenkaichi 4. Even though it's not called Tenkaichi, it's going back to its original name, the Sparking series, Dragon Ball Z Sparking Zero, bro. It hasn't been the best year for Dragon Ball, I'm going to be honest. Dragon Ball Daima. 
uh, we'll see what happens. The Dragon Ball Super manga has just been retelling the superhero movie all year. This would have been the worst year in Dragon Ball history. In fact, I still think it is in a lot of ways. The one thing that saved it for me was the Spark and Zero announcement. And for a lot of people, yo, when this trailer first dropped, yo, it broke the internet and since then we've gotten another trailer that showcased more of the roster bro yo like this has to be just for them to you know kind of tease us to how big the roster is going to be right like bergamo bro they threw in a random tertiary character from the tournament of power just to be like yeah yeah, this is gonna be one of them ones, boys. The art style, I think, uh, is still is gonna take a little bit getting used to for me. It's not bad, for sure. Like, uh, the, the graphics are amazing, but just the actual art, the character designs for me, it's, uh, I don't know, it's just really curvy. I don't know, maybe they're going for more like a, an early Dragon Ball manga aesthetic. I don't know, but for sure, whenever this game comes out, we still haven't gotten a, a release date yet. It's gonna break the internet once again, bro. It's good. I'll take this over Xenoverse 3. We got this and the GTA 6 announcement all in the same year. Now we living good, boys. Now at number three, top three, top three, it's gonna be whatever the f happened in Jujutsu Kaisen chapters 235 and 236. No spoilers, cause I'm not even caught up myself, but like this is one of those moments in manga where it's almost, the spoiler is inescapable, bro. Like honestly, if you haven't figured it out yet, just through sheer deductive reasoning, either you, live under a rock and don't even know what jjk is or you're not into anime at all or you just haven't touched any form of technology in the past like six months because this is everywhere again i'm not going to say what it is even though I, I pretty much have an idea of what it is let's just say that sukuna is doing sukuna stuff right jjk is really just on top this year like again blue lock might be on top in terms of pure manga sales but as for what is the current like anime manga cultural zeitgeist as for like what is talked about the most between anime fans what's what's getting the most what's bringing the most casuals in right now besides one piece it's just jutsu kaisen bro and i think this and the shibuya arc is a lot of the reason why you don't even have to actively be reading jjk if your social media algorithm is even just a little bit anime you've probably seen either the gojo na i'd win meme or you've seen you know other pictures spoilerific images that i won't put up here because people got mad at me over the my hero thing anyway yeah bro whatever happened in those two jjk chapters for sure one of the biggest moments of the year you just can't escape the spoilers bro it's impossible now at number two top two it's boruto uchiha talk about a way to save a series man single-handedly well not single-handedly kawaki's right there but like literally carrying the series on his back yo like i, I go on social media now and i see people still like talking sh about boruto because you know they still think that it's the same little kid anime from 2017 but nah yo nah it like literally it's giving peak shit put in energy bro i'm not gonna lie boruto i called him boruto uchiha for a reason bro like again i won't get into too many spoilers y'all really need to catch up if i'm being honest but you know th the time skip has happened and during that time skip boruto spent his entire time training with sasuke truly adopting not just sasuke's intelligence not just you know some of his abilities He's also adopted a lot of his mannerisms. Boruto right now, yo, like, not nah, he really is like early shipping in Sasuke, bro. Like, truly just... I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Like, bro, bro he stepped on Code's face. You can't get any more disrespectful than that, bro. And just the dialogue, anytime he's in the same panel with Code, it's just utter and complete disrespect, bro. Like, you look at the way Sarada looks at him now, bro. Like, I... Come on, yeah. Boruto got the hose now, bro. It's honestly one of the best character reinventions I've ever seen. Now, the, the art for the Boruto manga, it is still... You know, if you're thinking about jumping back in, it, it hasn't really changed that much. Everybody still looks like babies. And you know what I'm saying like overall, the art is just a bit dry, like the background art, like the background art specifically could really use some sort of, you know, spice to it, some sort of seasoning on it. It's like the creators looked at how much Boruto was hated and they literally turned that into the story. It really is that one meme like, OK, now I'll have her home by seven, sir. Thank you. No, you're 
your daughter calls me daddy now. Real quick before we get into number one, I, I do got a couple of honorable mentions here. First, I just want to say like just spy family taking over the internet in general. Sh shout out to the movie that just came out. I don't know if it's, it's dropped or not yet, but I definitely got to see it. I know season two is out. And yeah, man, like uh, the, the Anya memes, you got to love it. You got to love it. The your artwork. Know what I'm saying the boy in the heron again something else I still haven't seen yet but it's Miyazaki man it's again just another thing that I don't think a lot of people or I guess I speak for myself me I wasn't really expecting but now yo Miyazaki and Ghibli they still cooking still cooking and I will always be a loyal customer to this restaurant the hunter hunter return now see this was technically last year which is why I kept it off the top 10 but I was really excited for hunter hunters return it, and honestly shout out to just how intricate of a story hunter hunter is because when the chapters dropped because it had been so long since i read hunter hunter like i had to go back and reread like at least 10 chapters yeah i mean it's again togashi greatness we also got that one post from you know about how he would end the series in case he were to god forbid pass away and all i gotta say is that this is just such a it's, this is such a hunter hunter way to end the series bro like come on yeah it's like the ending to the series is a math equation and also we got vinland saga season two this is a personal one for me because a lot of people for whatever reason don't like season two because you know I, they're action junkies okay they don't like it because it's a lot of dialogue and it's just a lot of episodes that i mean i won't call it slice of life because slavery and all that but like yeah like it, it isn't it, there isn't as many fights because thorfinn doesn't want to fight anymore but here here you guys are trying to drag him back and make him regress to his old bloodlusted viking ways it's just like man this is what's wrong with society but not nah, season two was crazy bro like that whole thing with like canoe invading that 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 village that plantation that uh that thorfinn was working on that whole the whole second half of the season was just incredible um, but yeah, yeah, on to number one, man. The top, the biggest anime manga moment of the year. It's One Piece's greatest year ever. 26 years since this manga began, and I don't think there's been any year when One Piece has been this popular. I don't think there's any year for sure where One Piece has been this mainstream, bro. Luffy even got a float in a Thanksgiving Day parade. And I'm saying deflated straw hat aside, that's big. I mean, like, like where do i even start you got gear five in the anime that was crazy the one piece live action essentially breaking the curse of anime live actions all being terrible egghead all year in the manga has just been like every single chapter has slapped yo garp versus kuzan law versus blackbeard kuma's backstory shanks doing stuff like yo the the manga has been in rare form ever since wano ended let me tell you and then you know the wano arc in the anime ending as well four years later i remember when the wano anime first started i was still catching up to one piece earlier in the year you still saw film red killing it in the box office right becoming the most successful one piece movie to date we got the announcement of the reboot anime. Like, come on, yo. One Piece has just been, it's been crazy this year. Again, like, and even this year, One Piece is not the most sold manga in the world. We already went over that. It was Blue Lock. And even JJK beat One Piece, right? But just even despite that, like, I don't have any statistics for this, but I think I can comfortably say that this year, One Piece has accumulated more fans than any other year ever more casual fans definitely again i haven't i've been an off and on one piece fan but being around for so long seeing one piece kind of always being like the the red-headed stepchild of the big three it really is great to see the story finally getting its flowers like this man so the day that one piece ends it will be a sad day for us all but nah it, it's probably going to be the closest to world peace the closest that everybody has all been you know unified like in human history and i'm not even lying one piece brings people from every different walk of life together from every corner of the globe it doesn't matter what your skin color is yo one piece is one of a kind man but you know what, what else you want me to do if it's, if it's me i apologize i'm just high so sometimes i'll just emphasize i'm just shy so i really need to emphasize after this performance, check my vitals, make sure that I'm still alive.